tiny abandoned puppy chases Cop down the street and forces him to make a bold move. Patrolling a neighborhood street, two LAPD officers suddenly felt like they were being followed. Ready to face the suspicious character, the cops turned around, only to discover a small abandoned puppy. But the tiny puppy was no match for the perilously busy L.A. traffic, and it forced the officers to make a bold move that neither would ever forget. It initially started off as just another shift for officers Mercado and Tavera, and with the blur of traffic, no one may have spotted the scrawny pup wandering around. But thankfully for the dog, who stood only as tall as an adult's ankle, someone took notice. Mercado and Tavera were out on a patrol along Hobart Boulevard when they noticed the small, strange figure following them. Although the little guy had a small frame, two big ears flopped around his head. They bobbed wildly as he approached Mercado, practically skipping up to him. Tavera captured the whole encounter on his phone. With each step that Mercado made, the puppy followed. Realizing this little guy was abandoned, the officers suddenly found themselves forced into the role of animal rescuers and after realizing the street they were on, they knew what to call the bouncing stray. Yep, the cops nicknamed the little puppy Hobart, but the encounter wasn't all fun and games. Seeing how young the pup was, the officers knew it was dangerous for him to be alone, so the two took little Hobart with them and let him enjoy his first police car ride. In the meantime, they discussed what to do with the little guy. Based on the data from the City of Los Angeles Department of Animal Services, little Hobart's backstory wasn't rare. Between 26,000 and 44,000 stray dogs are said to be on the L.A. streets at any given moment. But Hobart had gotten lucky, at least for the time being. The officers then tried to figure out if someone had lost him. During his police cruise, Hobart sat safely in Tavera's hands as Mercado drove. And given that there were no tags to be found on the small puppy, his future depended entirely on what the officers thought was best. Would Hobart be better in a shelter? The cops knew they had to abide by the rules in California. There are no tags or information about an owner on a stray animal. You are legally bound to bring them to a shelter. Still, Mercado and Tavera hesitated. Shelters could provide either a very happy or very unhappy ending. Many pet owners and their lost friends are reunited in shelters, but if you don't search for the owner on your own using flyers and social media, you have to bring that stray to the shelter with the hope that the owner will arrive. If the animal goes unclaimed for a further six business days in California, then they become eligible for adoption. So, if Hobart went to a shelter, there was a decent chance that he'd be reunited with his former owner or would find a new happy home. Still, there was the undeniable chance that he would die in the organization's custody or even be euthanized. Mercado carefully weighed the pros and cons. Ultimately, the cop couldn't bear to send the pup to a shelter. So, the officers took Hobart into their station where the puppy received an honorary canine title. It came as a fun surprise to many of Mercado's colleagues that such a small pooch could be considered a police dog, and Mercado couldn't help himself. He had to keep Hobart by his side. Yep, the officer opened his home to the puppy. It seemed a new beginning was in store, though Mercado was a bit nervous about how Hobart would adjust. To help the pup settle in, the LAPD went all out in celebrating his fresh start. They welcomed the young honorary canine as a new member of the family, and they shared the video of the pup first meeting the officers on social media. But before they knew it, the post got a little out of control. The short-legged, big-eared Hobart went viral, and it wasn't long before he got an Instagram page all to himself. Mercado wrote posts from Hobart's perspective and made it clear how happy he was living with the policeman and his wife. The puppy even got some new nicknames. Hobie or Mr. Man are some of Mercado's favorites. In their house, Hobart discovered plenty of great sleeping places, too. There are so many, in fact, that the Mercados brought in a new family member, a short, white-furred puppy named Tyson. It's all a far cry from Hobie's stint on the streets. Since that fateful day, Hobart and the Mercados seem to have been inseparable, and we really mean that. If his human parents were out and enjoyed a drink from Starbucks, Hobart enjoyed one as well, and that's not all. Hobart got his first leash, plenty of toys, and even his first Halloween costume. We can only imagine what may have happened if Hobart had not been so curious or courageous and strolled up to the looming officers before him. And the Mercado household may never have been the same without Hobart. 
He was grown to love his parents, his new sibling, and the fellow dogs he meets along the way. But if Mercado's colleagues were uncertain that such a small pooch could be considered a police dog, there was already a precedent in place. Please feel free to share this with your friends.